Hey guys, what's cracking? It is Kraken Nation, your coach for the Boston Bisharps, and today we are here. CSML Season 6, Week 1 Battle against the Western World Waylords, coached by Jam Sanity. Jam Sanity, Jesus Christ. Anyways, this is a battle that I have prepped very aggressively for, as I am hoping to move my team building to a new level with this new roster that I've got for this season. Um... Oh, yeah, I am amped, guys. Um, it's a great team. Definitely go check out the team builder. We are running... I wouldn't say necessarily these aren't the most heat sets, but they're definitely unorthodox, which is why I think I'm going to be able to use it effectively, especially because I think he's really just not going to expect it. Um, so, <sighs> you know, we're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm, I'm nervous. That's what I'm... T I'm just trying to find a way to get that out. I'm nervous. I think James is a player that, like, he obviously his record doesn't show that he's the best player in the league, but I think he's a player that has pulled off really amazing plays from time to time and like just made some great, great done some great stuff. So he's one of those players that I feel like you really can't sleep on. Like there's sometimes you feel like there's players that are like, man, I don't really have to play my A game again in this game. But like, this is a game where I feel like if if James catches me sleeping, like he's gonna bot me because like so I really gotta play on my A game against this guy. Um, regardless, if you haven't again if you haven't checked the team, look definitely do that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, and we're just gonna click accept after checking over my EVs one last time. The team builder is the team's already uploaded the calculator for once, so shout outs to that. But um, gonna click this fat accepts right here. Oh, here we go. There is no Espeon, which means, and there is only there is. However, he does bring him on top. Um, no Espeon's kind of lame. Oh, definitely kind of lame, actually. Um, I am going to lead with Tentacruel, I feel, though. Um, Tentacruel seemed like a really great lead against this entire team. Um, it actually just matches up against every single Pokemon here. Um, knockoff from... If he goes... If he leads with... Um, if he leads with... Sneasel, that's the only problem, but I can switch into Arcanine pretty easily if he leaves with Sneasel. And I feel like he's just gonna click knockoffs in that situation. So I could actually also just double and chomp. Um, I don't think he's gonna click Icicle Crash on um, the Kraken here. I could double into chomp and give him some rough skin damage and also just eat up that knockoff. Although I'm not Mega yet, so my bulk is definitely. I think Tentacle does seem like a really great lead though. Um, if you go. I do. I, I think I would also end up switching out if he wanted to hit him on top. Um, into what? Probably, probably Thunderous, actually. Um, Drudigan matches up fairly well, but not great. Rocks would be great to have on, um, Chomp actually matches up really well, um, but there are things on this team that can definitely, like Ice Beam, I can't kill this thing, can easily run Ice Beam. There's no Mega Manectric, which is cool. Um, Thunderous, yeah, Thunderous doesn't match up well, because it, if I, I can't get a read on either of these two Pokemon's items that could do a lot of damage. Same thing, I can't KO anything. Thunder is kind of more of a cleaner. Um, Meloetta. Meloetta can pack a punch, but there are stuff here that can damage it. Meloetta is kind of a switch into the spe any special defensive mons, more like. Um, although, it can, yeah, it can do some damage for sure. Um, Sneasel is a threat. Sneasel is low key mad threatening. Um, but I do feel like Hitmon the Kraken is going to be the lead of choice. Um. As he does lead Sneasel, so that was... Yeah, Sneasel is the lead. As I'm gonna go into Arcanine... Um... I wanna keep my Shuka Berry intact. Um... How much is Garchomp going to take... From, um... Weavile? I think my defense is at 95 right now. Or it's not Weave Out, but Sneasel. <sighs> Garchomp takes, like, no damage, actually. Uh, so that's not a bad play. I don't think he's going to click uh, Icicle Crash here. So we can force him to take Rough Skin. Also reveal his item. Um, interesting, for sure. I think I'm going to go back into uh, Meloetta here, though. Um, 
This is also a chance to set up my rocks, but actually not really because I can't really switch into ice beams really that easily. Um, so I'm going to go into Meloetta. Um, I'm expecting him to want to switch into Sneasel here. Um, so I kind of just want to click Drain Punch, although I might just click Knock Off. Uh, I think the safer play is going to be Knock Off. I am just going to go into Tentacruel here. Um, <laughs> this thing doesn't really take hits though, so I, I figure I can just click Energy Ball actually. I feel really bad about those toxic misses. Those are really. I'm just telling you my thoughts. Um. I'm curious how much Drain Punch is going to do. Knockoff did like no damage, so Drain Punch would probably do even less. Um, he can't switch into an Energy Ball that easily, um, so I am just going to get net the kill on this thing real easy. Um, that's pretty nice actually, because Arcanine is super hard for him to beat now. I'm curious what he's gonna go into here. Um, if he goes into Sneasel, it honestly, I, I don't know. Sneasel is kind of a threat, so I, I don't know if I would stay in and just uh, kill it. Um, Sneasel's knockoff does kill, actually, so I'm high. Never mind, that's not what I would do. Um, however, on the other hand, um, I'm curious how much mellow it does to. Um, yeah, so he does go into Sneasel. How much does Melo do to Volcarona is actually kind of a neat question I'm curious about. Psyshock does a decent amount, but Bug Buzz does a lot back. Um, I am going to go into Arcanine here. Um, I don't want to go into Garchomp in case he makes that predict. Um, well, I also really want to get a read on this item here. Um, so he is a life orb, so I'm curious what's his switch in here. Um, it's not a Volcarona, you already know. So I'm just going to click Will-O-Wisp here, I think. Um, although, I don't want to give Volcarona too much of it. I have Zeus in the back to click T-Wave right now, so I'm honestly fine just clicking Will-O-Wisp. Um, Because if I, I I could just click um the thing is if he came with um okay the problem here is if I get Ar let Arcanine let me explain that thought process if I let Arcanine get weakened too much it can't really be switch and, and take on Volcarona this is the, really the designated Volcarona answer however how the game ended up going um, Thunderous is honestly I can keep Thunderous healthy pretty easily at this point because it didn't need to come in and kill my Lodic ever um, of course the Archeops item will end up mattering. Um, So I do want to calc um, how much this is going to do um, to my Pokemon in general. Um, let's see how much. Uh, let's see how much this is this for Arca to Arcanine for starters? Um, let's say offensive Stone Edge burned. Oh, he, let's say he's not intimidated though, so he's a plus one but burned. Um, it does actually still have a KO chance at this range of HP, so, um... 
do I want to go Chomp here? Chomp's kind of a, it's disposable, although it does end up being the answer to Volcarona if we have to click T-Wave. Um, Aqua Tail kind of does the job too, but... Um, Tentacle can still do a lot here, actually, in, in a lot of situations. Um, so I think the switch is going to be Drudigan, um, who's... So very curiously, he does... Um, go click U-turn, which does like not much damage at all. Um, I feel like he has to go Sneasel here. Um, Arcanine does takes how much from Sneasel not holding an item anymore. I just want to see if I, I can still switch into Sneasel really easily and just click. Um, obviously bought Icicle Crash or something. So he doesn't go into Sneasel, I'm just going to go into Arcanine, that's the 100% the safe play. Um, this thing has no move to hit me. Um, so I'm just going to click Moon uh, Morning Sun here and keep my Arcanine healthy because this is a great chance to heal it up. Um, he can't really click Icicle Crash here, Knockoff's not going to do enough damage. Um, as I can honestly just click Morning Sun again. Um, U-turn did. U-turn was not life orb, so this thing is not holding an item. Um, but it wasn't already. It was already not holding an item in this calc. Um, attack plus one. Burned. Right. That was it. I can. I can kind of stall this thing out unless you guys getting high rolls. Um, I don't want to switch anything in. Obviously. Um, I want to calc actually. Oh, I'm gonna calc how much that did to my Rudigan. Um. How much did that U-turn do? He's burned. U-turn did 12 to 14. So he's like, yeah, that was a mat high roll. He is like just all out offensive. He is not special. So Garchomp is probably a fine and dandy switch in here. Um, and honestly, now I can just click Stone Edge. Um, he has no comfortable switch-ins. Um, if he goes into Hitmontop, I am not that worried about it. Um, if he goes into Volk here, I can't see him going into Volk, but um, I'm basically just going to really calc how much Stone Edge does if he decides to go into Hitmontop here. Um, and if not, he can't touch me, I'm pretty sure. So, And if he goes into Lando, I can just HP Ice that thing on the next turn, which is even better. Um, I can get a reel on its spread. So it does go into Lando, yeah, that's kind of... So, that's kind of annoying, um... <laughs> I am just gonna click Hidden Power, though, um... So he does click U-turn, so he is, and we're going to calc that, um, we unfortunately clicked the HP ice, so we're going to end up having to reveal that. Maybe Draco would have been better, and we could have saved it, but U-turn did 19, to, U-turn did 19, so that was a Scarf Lando, probably, um, if he clicked it so eagerly, um, but HP ice is going to give us a good read on how much, um, we can expect from this hit on top. Um, Hidden Power Ice did 21, so he's probably that spread exactly. Um, Arcanine basically comes in here uh, really easily. Um, so Close Combat did how much to Arcanine? Um, so this is like an, a, a bulky assault vest. I'm thinking is what it's, I'm getting the read for. Um, let's say adamant. 
Yeah, this is a bulkier assault vest. Um, so I am thinking Morning Sun is the play here. Um, although I do outspeed 100%, so I can just click Will O Wisp pretty easily. Um, and just click Morning Sun from here. As the well, second his attack drops below that point, we're honestly fine. Um, so I'm going to try. Although it does have a good crit chance, so that's definitely the play is definitely not to stay in. Um, Chomp Jr. 100% is the most expendable member of this team right now. So so he does reveal that, and I'm just gonna go for the sucker here. Or actually, Stealth Rocks might be the play. Um, and then I can get off Outrage on the next turn. And if I want to let this thing die, I can then after that. Um, although I honestly don't need to let this thing die. Arcanine, like, I basically walk now. Um, Hitmontop is, like, very restricted. Um, the biggest threat's gonna be if Volcarona sets up, but as long as Thunders is alive and healthy, I'm fine. Um, he basically has to go into, like, um, I think Lando here. Um, and Lando can't click Stone Edge, so I feel like if Lando's a play, I might go into Thunderous, but that seems a little risky, because Thunderous is like, honestly, I just don't want Thunderous dying no matter what. Thunderous is like, the 100% stop to a setup Volcarona right now. Um, so he does go into this thing, um, and, and I am just going to go into Air Butt again. Um, He's gonna click Rapid Spin. Um, I don't know if he wants to keep this thing alive, um, but I think the play is just toxic here um, because I, I honestly don't need to click Morning Sun on this turn. Um, Sneasel cannot touch me. Volcarona is gonna get put on a massive timer. Um, and like, Will Wisping would be nice against. Um, he can't go into Volk though. Maybe the play is Willowless here too. Just really limit him. Um, unless Volk is running HP ground, but he's got so many Pokemon that could have revealed ground moves earlier. There's no way he's running HP ground on that thing too. So I'm just going to click Willowisp. Um, as he does stay in. Um, So the play here is going to be a Morning Sun now, um, although no, I can just, I think that's a little obvious. Um, he totally probably had like Mock Punch or something in the back. Um... I think he might, he also might be trying to get a read on when I'm clicking Will-O-Wisp timing wise. Um, however, I think Mock Punch would KO after this. Um, how much does this Mock Punch do um, to me now? 12 to 15, so an Earthquake plus a Mock Punch. I am in range of an, a high roll on both. Um, no wait, this is not even burned. Yeah, I am not in range, so honestly... So now I can really easily switch in... Um, something here. Like anything. Um, we're gonna switch in... 
thunderous. Um, <sighs> so I think the play here is going to be. Hidden power ice. Don't I can't play stupid though. I can't play stupid. I I gotta I am just gonna click hidden power ice here. Um This thing can take on that Sneasel too, I think. Um, let's plug in Sneasel and our Tentacruel spread. Um, yeah, this thing can take on Sneasel pretty well too, low key. So um, I'm just gonna click the Hidden Power Ice here. I think. Um, <sighs> so here's the play where I'm just gonna take this opportunity to switch in Arcanine and heal it up. Um, because I, as we counted earlier, I can def guarantee take an earthquake plus a mock punch. Um, and this thing, if it clicks ice punch, I'm fine. Um, it actually, it's not assault vest. What am I saying? It's been leftovers this entire time. I'm literally high. Um, but I can just morning sun back up here now. And I can honestly do it again. Um, <laughs> he dies next turn anyways, so he's going to click it again. Um, <sighs> so Lander's T still a threat for sure. But he, it is scarfed, I'm almost positive. So basically, what that means is I can go into Tentacle and take an EQ. And if you EQ, I go back into Thunderous. No, but I can't. Ugh. I can't be fodder off Thunderous anymore. Thunderous is like the emergency stop in case Volk gets had a hand. So we're going to plug in Arcanine. Um, This thing doesn't even have physical investment, and it's been walling all the physical attackers, but we're going to plug in Landorus T with a Scarf, um, Burned. Still cannot do that much to us, actually. Um, but let's say it's up. Oh, yes, it can. I'm high. Um, we're going to go Garchomp and see what, how Garchomp takes this. Um, Garchomp takes that real well, actually. Um, he can take anything quite well, so I think Garchomp's gonna be the play. Um, and we'll just drop a Draco next turn. Um, So we are just dropping a Draco here. Um, that took that real well. So I am curious what kind of Volcarona that is. Well, although Volcarona does have a decent amount of physical bulk, so... Um, he is not holding a Life Orb. So Bug Buzz is the only move that can KO, but Bug Buzz can definitely KO. Um, Stone Edge just not feel like a play there, though. Honestly, um, Stone Edge just didn't feel like the play, so, um, <laughs> I want to keep this thing alive, um, we're going to go into Tentacruel, I think, here, um, in case this thing clicks Giga Drain. Um, this thing is still a stop to Lando. Uh, it takes another earthquake. So 
So we are just going to click Hydro here. Um, and net a kill, I think. Yeah, basically, I think the play here is going to be toxic. Um, does, does Rapid Spin kill? The Rapid Spin kills, that's the play. No, it doesn't. Um, so this thing is the designated switch in, um, but I'm just going to click toxic here again. Um, although as of that is a mischance, this doesn't have a mischance. Um, I think I can take out anything this thing wants to go for real well. Yeah, I can. Um, so Volcarona is down. Thunderous is honestly expendable here, but I don't want to expend it. Um, I think if Lando comes out, Meloetta is going to have to take one. Because I want to preserve a 5-0 if possible. Um, Meloetta. Burned. So Meloetta can take anything, actually. Um, so I'm going to go into Meloetta. Because Meloetta can't take anything from... <sighs> so... I'm going to keep Arcanine healthy. And I'm just going to click... If Energy Ball kills, that's the play. Um, Energy Ball... Does kill, for a fact. So, how much does it do to Sneasel? That's kind of what I'm curious about also. There's a lot to Sneasel. It was already low. Um, I'm just gonna click Energy Ball here. Um, Drain Punch does no damage to this freaking Landorus. He, it kind of depends on what he wants to keep alive. I'm just going to click Energy Ball. Um, If this comes down to a flinch, I'm going to be angry. Um, this thing's going to click knockoff here, I think. Um, um, Dark Chomp's useless. So the question is,
I think I, um, I'm curious, um, Sneasel is his last mod standing. How much does Arcanine, how much does, um, Drudigan take from that? Um, I Shard might not knock out Drudigan, actually. No, it will. Um. How much does Sucker Punch do? Not a lot. <sighs> I'm really curious what the play is going to be here. Um. Arcanine, Sack, Arcanine, Sack. So let's Sneasel's now at minus one. Um. So Arcanine. So Icicle Crash has like no chance to do any damage anymore. Um, So this thing is at 0.5 attack. Um, I'm just gonna click Morning Sun here. Um, and if this doesn't, and that is gonna be good game. Um, well played to James Sanity. Definitely well played. Um, Definitely well played, but yeah, that was that was some good stuff. Um, well played, and I hope guys in this video, kind of a tumultuous start, but we did play really well. I props to him; he played really well. Um, yeah, I know it was a great game, great way to start the season. I'm pretty amped. Um, hopefully this get yeah, we get to keep going. Anyways, I hope guys in the video. If you do, leave a comment, rate, subscribe. That is always very appreciated. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Cracking. Nation out. So we are just gonna click protect, I'm thinking. And see if we can get a high jump kick uh and we do 